Hello, everyone. Uh, I think my voice is really loud, no? <laughs> uh, like, I started to, to work as an artist in Syria uh, in an uh, animation company. Uh, uh, it was a Space Toon Channel, uh, very famous in the uh, Middle East. Uh, but I wasn't uh, satisfied at all because, like all the subjects, they were really shallow and there, there was no depth in it. So I always had a frustration, but uh, we lived under a dictatorship, so uh, we didn't have a voice as an artist or anyone else. So when uh, the revolution started in, uh, in 2011, uh, I felt like I really have uh, to be involved there, but I didn't start by my art because I thought like art couldn't like really help in this situation. So I was doing, I was preparing field hospitals and things, and uh, going to protest. But then when uh, <coughs> when the situation become like really hard, uh, I left Syria in 2013. Um, so there I couldn't do anything. I couldn't volunteer or work on anything. So I started like working on uh, uh, illustration to support like po uh, politi uh, political reports and things. Uh, so I, I found like people that they really uh, found it like really interesting and they uh, pay more attention for the for the events and what is happening. But I, I was still fr uh, frustrated as well because I thought it's not enough, especially like I was uh, communicating with someone from a Free Syrian Army and he was telling me, yeah, it's really nice what you are doing, but it's really fragile and you can't really do any change with art. And in that moment, I felt like, yeah, he's really right. So, <laughs> so I decided to uh, move back to Lebanon and uh, uh, help uh, to um, uh, support uh, uh, alternative education uh, here in uh, refugee camps. Especially they really had a lack of uh, uh, education and uh, most of the kids they had to work uh, to support their families. So I thought, uh, I wanted to know, I f a follow up with why kids they don't uh, go to school. Because uh, the refugees uh, situation in Lebanon, they can't really uh, work and uh, it's not allowed for them even to move. And uh, fathers, they can't really uh, uh, go out of their uh, tent, so they are like kind of free prisoners. So they have to send their w w like wives and their kids to work instead. So that really, and and anyway, the kids they, they were not allowed to go to most of the schools in Lebanon. So that's really uh, like pushed me more to uh, to work with kids and uh, encourage them more to go to school tents, which which is something that. Uh, a lot of uh, activists they invented in uh, refugee camps, they started doing st uh, school tents to provide alternative education. Uh, <coughs> now I'm, I moved to France and I feel like, like this kind of uh, guilt feeling goes back and forth and I don't know how, how to uh, deal with it. So now I try to work uh, uh, like uh, on comics uh, and uh, like uh, illustration books to just explain their situation in these refugee camps. And uh, like of course I, I always is, uh, feel like I have two kind of uh, um, uh, two kind of uh, people like uh, audience uh, that I go to. Uh, the Syrian kids themselves and the other people outside. So when I go with kids uh, like Syrian kids I always try to put like really very positive uh, 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 messages, so to encourage them to be stronger and uh, to, uh, to, to try to do something from their situation because we really can't get them out of this situation, but at least we can help them to uh, be stronger and try to create something in, in the same environment. And when I go to, this, the, to the other audience, I like to put spotlight on their horrible situation. It's not the same uh, uh, view, of course. So I remember I met uh, someone uh, who's Italian in, in Europe, <laughs> and and he told me I don't know why he told me like uh, told me these things. I, he told me like you don't look like a refugee, <laughs> and you are just a drop in the ocean trying to change w the world by your art. So I was thinking like yeah, I'm a drop in the ocean. I don't want to be a mountain, but uh, I think if we are a lot of drop in the ocean, we can. Be, make a big ocean. We, are, we will be the ocean and we can help people. <laughs> so, because I worked a lot with kids, so I feel like I understand exactly uh, how is the situation in refugee camps. So, it was easier for me to work on comics uh, that uh, talk about their situation.
This is from Iraq, but uh, I think we have very similar uh, uh, experience. Like kids, they try uh, their hard to, to, do, uh, to be uh, business uh, people in a refugee camp to make money, which is not easy. <laughs> Like uh, some, uh, some of the books, uh, they talk, uh, t uh, they are inspired uh, by uh, Syrian kids there, uh, but uh, just to raise awareness about health uh, um, uh, care, so kids, they can uh, uh, really take care of themselves because there is no, not enough uh, medical uh, centers there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, to, to, to show some. Ah, okay. Uh, so this uh, book, Bukhra, inshallah, we were a, a, a group of uh, artists. And uh, be, what I did, uh, we went all of us uh, to the field and to interview people there. So what I did, uh, I interviewed many families. But in the end, I created uh, the, uh, uh, a story uh, based on all of them. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, how is uh, how is meant they could be really uh, traumatized as well, mm -hmm. because like most of the organizations they really take care of uh, uh, women and uh, kids, but they forget about men that they can be also traumatized, and uh, uh, as I said before, they can't uh, really move and uh, they are really stuck in their refugee camp in their tent, so they have this frustration and they have to send their kids instead to work, which is like uh, like like could hurt all, all of the family. So, yeah, I was uh, concentrating on how, um, what is the difficulties that men they can uh, really face? Like, uh, uh, be there's just because they are Syrian men and they are refugees, uh, like they, they immediately people, they think they are ISIS. Anyway, I've been called ISIS f five times here in Lebanon <laughs> while I'm having my uh, glass of whiskey. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, which is normal, but uh, for men it's really stronger just because they are men. Uh, so, uh, I, I know uh, when I talk to kids, I, I heard from kids a lot uh, that they hear their fathers uh, crying in their, in their room, since uh, the walls, they are just like a piece of fabric, so, so they can hear all, uh, all the conversation between uh, parents and they can hear them crying. So the, I think like this is also um, show many difficulties that why kids they don't go to school. Now I'm concentrating mostly on uh, supporting uh, attentive education. Actually, I think it's a big need because like now we can't really change anything in a political situation. And I know we are, like as I said, we are dropped in the ocean and we can't really change the, the political situation, but at least we can support kids. <laughs>